we are at the Mackay Marina. It's a lovely spot, but it's not where we want to be. We were hoping to keep pushing south, but you know, like every good sailor tells you, don't die for a deadline. So we're just gonna sit here and wait out the storms and um, hang out for a few days. We rented a little moped of some sort to run around and do some errands here in Mackay. So we'll see if we don't uh, have a good time on this thing. Not exactly my motorcycle. Now on this whole trip, I've been longing for my motorcycle. Anything on two wheels is better than nothing. So yeah, I'm happy to be on the moped. We're heading some 40K out of town for a special treat. There it is straight ahead, up that big hill. Oh my God, we're never gonna make it. Oh my God. <laughs> Omeo Pacific Hotel. Bravo. Made it. Yeah. <laughs> the Omeo Pacific Hotel is perched high on a cliff. And I've been told it's a place to eat something very dear to my heart. That is a key lime pie. Now, I'm going to see if it's a true key lime, because I grew up in Florida. And Florida is where you get good key lime pie. The first test is if it's yellow or green, and that is yellow, so that's a good. Not quite the real deal, but it's pretty good. And that's a seal of approval coming from someone who knows their key lime pie. Okay. Listen to that. <laughs> I just push it home. <laughs> Two days later, nothing's changed. No one is heading south until the southerly stop blowing, so we've decided to do the next best thing. So where are we going, pretty girl? Well, we're going to see um, Martin and Tiffany and Scott, and we're having drinks tonight on Scott's boat. And one of the nice things about cruising is catching up with people and having sundowners, as they call them. The nice thing about these sundowners is you just bring along whatever you have, be it wine or something a little more exotic. Oh my gosh, hi guys. What you, Tiffany, what have you got? I have donuts. They're grilled molten donuts. <gasps> a little baking. Yes. Don't oh. look, they kind of went a bit funny, but I'm trying too hard. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, we never saw that coming, but it's exactly what a bunch of strangers need while sitting around, waiting for the weather to clear, and making new friends. Grilled donuts. Three more days pass before the southerly stop blowing and the wind turns around from the north. Now it's time to make our escape. Hey, what are you doing? Pulling in the fenders. We're out of here, huh? Out of Mackay. Out of Mackay, pulling in the fenders so we don't look like rookies when we get out of here. You look pretty silly when you're sailing around with fenders on, don't you? You do. It's a sure sign that you don't really know what you're doing. Today, we're on our way to Digby Island if I can just get the head so unfurled. OK, something's wrong. All right. Is it unjammed? Oh, I knew it. Still don't have it unjammed. While my best mate struggles to get the head so out, I've got to keep a keen eye on all those large ships. Whew. Now let's get that sail trim. OK. Get it in. We're literally sailing through a minefield of tankers. Cranks, baby, crank. Keep her coming. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're starting to sail. How's that? More. There we go. That's better, hold that. 
Are we sailing at last? Finally, huh? Finally, huh? These are all the tankers waiting to get into Hay Point. It's one of the biggest coal terminals in the world. And um, we're weaving through all these things because we're going to dig the island on that side. And the only way to get there is to go through all these ships. There's got to be 100 of them sitting out here. They pull 67 million tons a year out of this port every day, ship in and out, in and out. It's amazing. Dig it up and burn it. It seems at this rate, the fight against global warming's got no chance. Maxine's just counted them, and there's 37. I stand corrected. I was wrong. It was the first time for everything on this trip. That would be it. <laughs> just before sunset, we make it to our destination. Our plan of island hopping is working. So we're heading to that lagoon in there amongst the islands. Let's Digby straight across. Welcome to Digby. When we started this journey, it was to discover whether we wanted to do this as a lifestyle. And here we are, we're heading home. And the closer we get to home, you'd think that you'd have something resolved. But as of yet, we don't know if this is the lifestyle we want. I don't know if this is the lifestyle I want yet. There's times where I think I don't want to do anything else. And then there's times that I just want to pack it in and go for a motorcycle ride. All right, let's drop this main. Ready? Turn it into the wind. I think we're both giving the question of whether we want this as a lifestyle a lot of thought, but we aren't discussing it. And I think that's because we both want to make it to the end of the journey before we make a decision. Look at that, first. We may not have decided if we want to do this for a lifetime, but we do know, once the anchor's down, the day is done. Yeah, now it's time to relax, have a beer. There's nobody here. We're the only people here. It's like being out in the middle of nowhere. Well, hell, we are out in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by islands. Whew, what a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight islands surrounding us at the moment. We are in the boonies. Next time, it's the final chapter of Living the Dream, and I lose my grip. Oh, shit. While Maxine loses the plot. Ready to tack? Tacking. Well, wrong way. Where the f are you going? Plus, the pain of the Sandy Strait. No! Oh! All things just a series of zigzags. You think sailing's freedom, but it's really not. Then, a nighttime sail the turns into a nightmare. Turn the 